welcome back to my channel today as y'all can see in the title i'm gonna be doing a wig install and i've decided that whenever i do a wig install i'm going to do a story time because a lot of people just don't want to sit and just watch a wig install so today's story time i'm gonna be i don't know what i'm gonna name this I don't know. I'm going to figure it out. Y'all, of course, y'all going to see the title, but it's currently so late, but I'm just like, I need my hair done, so I got to get up and I got to film this video. This video is sponsored by Real Cool Hair. Um, I did, I think my first ever wig tutorial was on them, if I can remember right, that black wig. I think that came from Recool. So shout out to them. It's a ginger. I know it looks yellow in the camera, but I promise you it's like way like. I don't know. I'm kind of scared to put it in too because I don't know how it's going to look. I didn't bleach these knots because they're already like orange. So they're not super black. So it's not going to be easy to see. It's going to go good with the wig. So I just want to get straight into it because it's a lot that go on in this story. My true supporters, I don't know who's watching me, but I know that my true supporters that have been rocking with me and Yanni for a while know this story. I used to tell this story all the time on Instagram Live. Y'all can follow my Instagram. It's right here. I used to tell this story all the time on Instagram live and I think I'm gonna start doing like a middle like a story time middle school kind of series because I have so many story times from middle school that I used to tell on Instagram live but I feel like you know not too many people remember that so I want to bring it to YouTube so that y'all could really like listen closely but a lot of my supporters have already heard this story if you have you know just leave a like watch the video but the people that haven't it's wild y'all so i'm gonna get right into it um i actually already put y'all know i do not like to do this on camera because it'd be like a lot of like tiny things that i need to get through also y'all i have my hair braided for the first time in forever i got my hair scalp braided y'all don't know the struggle after i took that curly wig out i was wearing these braids not the wig cap just the cornrows for like like four days just struggling i didn't go nowhere i wasn't posting i wasn't doing none of that because i didn't want to take the braids out and then have to redo the braids and i was gonna put this wig in that's just a lot of wear and tear on your hair so i was like i just gotta thug it out because i know i'm i'm gonna be doing my hair in a few y'all have malik on my computer right here and he mad because i'm sitting here doing this video he understand he's just tired he wanted me to go to sleep with him but before i get into it I'm coming back to y'all with the ghost bond glue. I love this glue because it's like I don't be wanting my wigs to stay on long. If they start slipping off after like two, three days, that's fine with me. That's how I feel. And I feel like the ghost bond glue is just right for wanting it to hold but not wanting it to hold. I just do a little dab with the alcohol and it slips right off. My edges be there like it's good. So make sure if y'all ever install a wig, get y'all ghost glue so before i get into the wig process i'm always gonna start off my story time just so y'all can get a feel of what the video is gonna be like okay y'all before i start the story time i want to tell y'all that i don't at the end like around the end i don't know what was happening to the video because i was so tired i honestly don't even remember what i was talking about i think it was the story time but i'm like y'all gonna hear the story time in there but like towards the end I don't even think I closed out the video towards the end. Like, I just get, I'm talking about the story time, but it's just so all over the place. So I'm definitely going to do a part two in the morning when I'm wide awake so that y'all can see because I was just getting so tired. And I hope that y'all are able to actually see what I'm doing with as far as the wig. Shout out to Recoil Hair. Make sure y'all go get their hair. All their links to everything will be down in the description box below. Um, Yeah, you can see on my TikTok, I post an Instagram video about it yeah so this took place in sixth grade so much happened in sixth grade like sixth grade is the reason why i was homeschooled for seventh eighth ninth tenth eleventh i'm in eleven right now sixth grade is the reason why but i'm also um happy that that happened like the things that happened did happen because if i would have never been homeschooled i would never be on instagram never would have made my first dance video never did none of that so i feel like everything happens for a reason so if you out there thinking like oh why is this happening to me why is this happening to me it's all gonna make sense in the long run okay i had this one friend 
and me and Yanni in sixth grade me and Yanni had different classes we had like two classes together but this is a girl from my home what do they call it homeroom I think this is a girl from my homeroom and her name is let's call her see on my Instagram lives I was saying the people names but since this video is going to be on YouTube forever I don't want to put their names out there so I'm gonna say I'm gonna call her Columbia get homeroom homeroom we was in homeroom for like a long time before we actually went to our classes so I and she sat right behind me so I definitely got to feel her personality and she was cool like she was real cool I think she moved twice while we were in sixth grade but her first home we would always go there um I wouldn't say necessarily spend the night but we definitely would go to like the mall with her and just like go out to eat i remember one time we went to chipotle with her just like little stuff mind you we were still in sixth grade so we was like 12. so we was just doing little stuff and i remember um we went to her birthday party and she had a little hotel room she was a cool person i'm not blaming her i'm not cat i almost said her name columbia if you're seeing this i'm not blaming you because i know you didn't really mean no harm in this whole thing um, I know it was your mama, and I don't mean to talk about your mama, but your mama was wrong and out of line for a lot of the stuff that she did. So, yeah, she hadn't moved. So, her house that she moved to was, like, really far. I don't know how she was still staying at the same school because she was not zoned for our school, but I can't blame because when I was going to school, that particular school I was going to, I wasn't zoned for there either. My mom was using somebody else address. Y'all know how that be. Y'all know how that be when you're not zoned for the school, but your parents still want you to go to that school. So you use somebody else address. Use your grandma auntie address. That's how it was. The house that she moved to was really far away. Keep that in mind. It, I should put like pinpoints up for y'all to just keep in mind. Keep in mind the house that she moved to was so far away. The school that I went to was Sutton Middle School. If you live in Atlanta and you like from like Buckhead, like the city, you're going to know where that's at. This is when I stayed in Buckhead. Um, I went to Sutton from 6th grade and then 7th grade I was homeschooled so I only went to Sutton for one year. Um, I had a great time. All the stuff I'm going to be telling y'all about, all the story times, it may have sound bad like in the, you know, while it was happening but I had fun. Like, I had fun. She wanted us to come to her house. It was me, Yanni, the, and like two other girls. I don't, want, I don't know if I can say that name. One of them was Annika. If y'all know her, y'all know Annika was our true dearest friend. I met her in sixth grade. She was so cool. Annika, if you're watching this, hey, girl, she moved to Dubai. So, because our parents was like some rich doctors. So, they had moved to Dubai. So, it was um, me, Columbia, Yanni, Annika, and this girl named Faith. I'm just saying they real names because the story not about them and they didn't really hold no bad part in the story. I just don't want to say her name because it involves her mom. So I don't want to like put her business out there like that. This Friday, we had went home with her through carpool because usually me and Yanni rode the bus. But we this day, we went home with her through carpool. We was going to spend the weekend with her. So that's that. So I really want to. I hope this. Ooh, I hope this is not too small for my head. And I feel like I'm getting so much better at, like, installing wigs and stuff. Y'all, this is really bright. Um, I definitely need to pluck it. It's kind of a little bit too big, actually. But I always like the wigs with the clip at the back so that I can bring it in so it's a little bit smaller. I need to color my wig cap. I think we had went to eat before we went to her house. This is also a key point. Her mom made sure we ate before we got to her house. And I didn't feel like that was weird because I felt like she was just trying to be nice. Like, oh, let me get y'all something to eat before y'all get back to the house or whatever. Blah, blah, blah. And tell me in the comments if I'm tripping after listening to everything. Don't comment if you haven't listened to everything. Listen to everything and see if I'm tripping. And I know people, families is different. My feel how my family do things, how your family do things, how her him that it's all different. I'm not judging her because of how things were and how her mom was. It's just I feel like you shouldn't force that onto other people's kids. Please tell me if I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, I, I admit it, I'm wrong. But I don't I, after all these years, I don't think I'm wrong. Because as I said, I don't think you so force 
what you do to your child on your other people's children because you don't know how they are. I'm back um, from plucking. I just plucked a little bit. I'm going to pluck some more when I actually get it on my head. So now I'm going to go in with these two and color my wig cap. But I don't have my lace tint spray with me today, so I'm going to just really try to do my best with my like foundation and stuff. We get to her house, bam, she lets us eat before we get there. We get to her house, I'm gonna go on the back of my hand with it. We get to her house and we chilling like, when we first got there, it was cool. We was all chilling, wasn't nothing suspicious. Oh, this is actually perfect. I ain't even blending in a lot, but it's going good. We really just chilling. That's because we wasn't hungry yet. We had just ate, so she made sure we ate before we got to her house. When we got there, it had to be like, mm, it had to be like five-ish when we got there. Just make sure you do it so that everything is nicely coated. It had to be about like six-ish. People was getting hungry. And I'm not saying we was ready for like a whole nother meal. We just wanted a snack or two. We was getting hungry. We hadn't ate since we... Since she came and picked us up from school, we got some before we came to her house, but that was about it. She didn't have, like, she had snacks in her kitchen, but it wasn't like, I think they was on some type of healthy diet, so it wasn't like junk food, but it was stuff there. Like, they had stuff in their kitchen, but it wasn't like junk food or nothing. Time we like, well, we kind of hungry. Like, do you have any snacks downstairs? She just like, yeah. Not really saying too much. Like, no, I don't got snacks downstairs. Yeah, I got snacks downstairs. It was kind of go downstairs and figure it out yourself. That was a trap. You tried to trap us so that we can meet your mama downstairs halfway. And she, for uh, her to tell us this, we go downstairs and we on our way to the kitchen. We come down the steps on our way to the kitchen. She like in the living room. She like, hey girl, what are you guys doing? So we like, we just hungry. We want a snack. We hadn't ate since we came here. So we just want a snack. This is where it gets wicked, y'all. So keep this in mind. It was around six-ish. No, I remember distinctly. It was no later than six. She talking about some, well, guys, um, the kitchen closes at six. Y'all, I swear to God. Damn pages, if you're watching this right now, Find a screen record. I know y'all screen record. I've said this story so many times on my Instagram. Find a screen recorder of me telling this story. I haven't told it no different. I've told it the same way each time I tell it. She's like, hey girls, like the, the kitchen is closed. So, but it was. Now that I think about it, she didn't come downstairs. Because she probably already knew her mama was sitting down there telling us like, nah, y'all, yeah, the kitchen is closed. So I say, Mind you, y'all be thinking I'm all bold, big and bold. I said, what do you mean clothes? We just want a snack or something. She's talking about, well, Columbia didn't tell y'all before y'all came down here or before y'all came over here that our kitchen closes at six. So you have to eat before then. No more eating after six. Yeah. See, I knew something was off. Columbia, I do not blame this on you. I don't blame what happened. I don't blame the situation. I feel like if your if your home had these much restrictions on it, you should have told your guests this before they got there. Because maybe they, I want to say we would have not came, but we just would have been more aware of the situation we was walking into. I don't know if they were trying to eat healthy or not. I just know they had a lot of greens, like a lot of healthy stuff in their kitchen. So I just, can I, can you cook me up some carrots? Can you, can I get some carrots to snack on or something? I'm just hungry. I haven't ate since I got here, which was at four o'clock. I haven't ate. It's been two hours, six o'clock. Are you telling me that the kitchen's closed and I have to stay here for the weekend? So I got to do all my eating and munching before six. Mind you, I'm a 12 year old. I want to get snacks. I want to eat late night snacks, go in the kitchen late night, fix me a snack. Like, I'm 12 years old. Y'all, I just put a little bit of the color. It it don't it don't hit as much as the lace tint would have, but you got to work with what you got. Y'all, I'm bringing back my elastic band. This works so good for laying the lace down while it dries. A scarf can do it, but it's just nice and thin. So, it gets right on the spot, which would be right here right on the spot you need it to and presses firmly down on there i'm sorry if the story time i over the place i'm so tired it's like 12 o'clock so just bear with me y'all know i'm gonna edit it so it looks all smooth and good 
I'm taking my ghost bond glue and I'm going in with three layers. I'm going to let two layers dry. And the last layer, I'm going to get tacky. Tacky just means when you lift your finger up, it kind of like sticks to This is kind of not like learning how to do a lace no more. This is kind of just installing the lace because I feel like your girl got it in here. Just because it's a big mirror right here. I'm in Yanni's room, so it's a big mirror right here. Y'all, I'm getting so sleepy, but I'm going to push through for y'all. Um, it's a mirror right here, so I'm going to be looking here. <laughs> We didn't send nothing directly to Columbia, but I felt like the energy she was giving off was like, they like, dang, like I should have told them before they went downstairs. Annika had some like hot chips in her bag. I think it was like hot Cheetos or some. She had some of them in her bag. So we was like, okay, we'll just eat these. We thought that the kitchen was closed. Like you couldn't go into the kitchen. The kitchen was closed. You couldn't, like you couldn't get food out of the kitchen. That's what we thought. Like, you can't eat food out of the kitchen. The kitchen closed. We didn't know that there was no there was no eating in the house after 6. Not that the kitchen was closed. There was just no eating after 6. So, we get to eating our snacks whenever. And I guess she came up there to check on us. I feel like her mom was just trying to, you know. And I, it's no issue with that whatsoever. It's just to try to force that on somebody else's kids. I don't stand for the whole weekend. You don't know how these other kids are, how they are at home, if they need to eat after six, if they need to eat right before they go to sleep. You don't know that. So that's why I feel like the situation was wrong. So she gets upstairs. She came to check on us, and we sitting in there eating hot chips. She's really mad at it. Oh, I keep saying her name. She's really mad at Columbia, like, you know better. So I'm sitting there like, dang, she's really mad. Really mad at her, like, you know better like really screaming at her so i said we are looking at each other like this must be like an ongoing thing like she knows better and i feel like she was trying to reach trying to stretch because we was there so she was eating the hot chips and she was but like she knew better and i we kind of felt bad because we was like we didn't mean to harm we just sitting there hungry like we just hungry so we was like okay wasn't no rude kid so we, we wasn't like man what you talking about we wasn't trying to disobey her in her own house so we said okay because i'm tired um so basically after that it's like eight then so it's a rolling it's eight she come in there man okay we like we're not gonna disobey her we basically like okay you don't want to see after six we won't eat after six we was just really good friends i don't think we was gonna let her mom get in the way of that so i feel like that's why we continued to you know and after that, when I was at school, I didn't let, even though I didn't like what happened, I did not let that stop me from being her friend because at the end of the day, she's a 12-year-old. That's not her. That's her mom. So I wasn't going to let that stop me. It's rolling to like nine now. And she come in there basically like, okay, guys, it's time to go to sleep. Give me our phones. Give you our what? Okay. You pushed it with the food. Now you now you want to check our phones? We are little girls at somebody else's house. You think that you should take our phones? And we won't be able to call our parents or nothing? I don't care if you have a house phone. You're, to take our phones? Um, a part two for the, um, for like the, when the whole shootout happened because this is just one part of the story. It was a whole weekend full of things that had happened. Okay, so while that's sitting, let me pull my my edges out. I may do a, I don't know what type of style I'm going to do. But I definitely want to pull the edges that I'm going to be doing out. Taking my elastic band, the lifesaver. I know my camera cricket. <sighs> this is really late night, late night story time. Um, I was such a nice kid in sixth grade, and I feel like that's why so many of the situations happen because I just let people just, I won't say walk all over me, but I definitely should have stood my ground more. I'm not disrespectful to adults, so that's one thing I was never going to do and I would never do. But I definitely was like, what you mean, take our phones? And, and all of us was like, take our phones, take our phones. 
already knew what it was. She gave her phone right up. Now that I think about it, we was 12. But it was the weekend and we was at a sleepover. So I feel like you couldn't wait till like 11, 10, 11. But nine, you didn't let us eat at six. Then want us to eat the snacks at seven, eight. And now nine, you're trying to take our phones. I guess she just felt, and she was also one of the moms that wasn't really like modern. She wanted to do things like old school. And the, the reason why she took our phones is because she said that she wanted us to mingle with like each other. She didn't want us to be all on our phones, not talking to each other. She wanted us to mingle with each other, not knowing that's how we was like it wasn't that we wasn't talking to each other we was probably sending a funny little meme into our group chat laughing like it wasn't like we wasn't talking to each other and i guess she just didn't want us to feel like we was there and not talking to her child but that was not the case this was not one of them we hear we not talking to the girl that house it is it was not one of them and i didn't have no problem with that it was just i was 12 and i wanted my phone like this whole time i feel like we was very mindful to not make Catherine mad like we didn't want her to we didn't want to make her feel like out of play in the situation we was mad but we wasn't doing a lot about the situation because we didn't want her to feel some type of way because mind you this is her house she does this on a daily she doesn't eat past six and she gets her phone taken on a daily so we didn't want any, her to feel like shamed about her or anything so and actually that night we tried to sneak our phone around her mom went to sleep around like 12 ish one we was in there i'm talking about creeping it was fun y'all i can say that was fun trying to sneak and get your phone we was in there crawling like trying to make no noise that was fun and the second day we set we was so uh we had set alarms so that it wakes her up in her sleep. Like we had set alarms like every hour that they just wake up. And we thought that if she was going, that was going to get her her nerves and she was going to give us back our phones. But that didn't work either. She just told us to like turn up, <laughs> turn it off. <laughs> the second day rolled around and okay. If you are from Atlanta, you know that it was at one point Golden Glide that it was rumored that Golden Glide was shutting down. Golden Glide is a popular skating rink. Would y'all be okay? Would y'all still love me if I did a part two? Y'all, yeah, so I plucked it a lot. Root recoil hair. Their hair did not come as plucked as I would thought. But I just plucked it to curl them. So I should probably plug my flat iron up. I didn't finish out the story time. It is currently 127. And I'm tired. So tired. I'm going straight to sleep after I finish this. So yeah just keep this in mind and i'll finish telling it on another wig install so as y'all i'm about to go in and do my edges but i'll be really paying attention closely so i'm going to speed this up Okay, y'all, so that's the end of the video. As I told y'all in the middle of the video, I don't know what was, I was so tired. I don't know if I forgot to end it or what, but I will be putting up some videos of what the aftermath was. You can also see on my TikTok and on my Instagram. Shout out Recoil Hair. Thank y'all so much for watching. All of their links and stuff will be in the description box below. I will be doing a part two because the other half of the story was crazy, just like the first half. And yeah.